we will be discussing fat soluble vitamins in this uh, segment as uh, the name indicates they are soluble in fat and all these fat soluble vitamins are stored in liver So this is uh, the common thing about uh, these and we will be talking about uh, three main things. One, the name of the vitamin, the uh, technical name, its functions and deficiency symptoms. The first fat soluble vitamin, there are uh, A, D, E, K which are fat soluble. So we are talking of vitamin A. The technical name of vitamin A is retinol. This is essential, here we will be discussing functions and then we will take up the deficiency. The functions, the most important function is, it is required for synthesis of the pigment which is present in our uh, rod cells, that is rhodopsin. For synthesis of <coughs> rhodopsin which is the pigment found in rod cells in rod cells and we know that in our retina we have two types of our cells sensory cells the rod cells and the cone cells rod cells are responsible for day night or what we call the normal vision except the color vision and cone cells are responsible for the color vision so here we are talking of the rod cells the other function of vitamin A is it maintains the epithelium. And as we have discussed in case of minerals also that if we understand the functions, it is very easy to conclude what kind of deficiency would be seen if these things are not happening or in other words if that particular substance is deficient or absent so as we said rhodopsin or rod cells are responsible for day night or black and white vision what we call then in absence or deficiency of vitamin a rhodopsin synthesis would get affected and that vision part would also get affected that deficiency is known as night blindness now the word is slightly misleading when we talk of night blindness that means it is the person is not having vision during night actually speaking human beings are not able to see in absolute darkness but here when we are talking of night vision we mean dim light vision during dawn and dusk when the light intensity is low at that time the vision gets affected so basically it is dim light vision which gets affected another deficiency symptom if vitamin a is not there in significant quantity or amount is known as xerophthalmia zero word or zero word is used whenever we are talking of extreme dryness and ophthalmic word is used for eyes so here when we use the word zero ophthalmia we are talking of dry eyes so in deficiency of vitamin a there are two main types of or main deficiencies which are seen one is night blindness where the dim light vision gets affected and xerophthalmia that is drying up of eyes. This is vitamin A that is the first fat soluble vitamin. The next is vitamin D. Scientific name or technical name is calciferol. The function of vitamin D is it helps in absorption of calcium and phosphates from the digested food or the food which is present in the intestine. 
So it helps in absorption of calcium and phosphates. And both these, calcium and phosphates, they are required for bone and teeth formation. So if vitamin D is not there, then calcium absorption will be affected, phosphorus absorption will be affected, and bone formation would get affected. So its deficiency is, one, rickets, but that is seen only in younger uh, children, when the bone formation is still taking place. So deficiency is? Rickets in children when the bones are being formed and in rickets the characteristic feature is the bow legs. The legs instead of normal straight bones they become bent because calcium is not there and that is why the hardness of the bone or matrix is less and that is why the bones they bend. But if this deficiency takes place in adult stage, when the bones are completely formed, after that, rickets type of uh, symptoms are not seen. That deficiency or disease is known as osteomalacia. And this is seen in adults. And both are due to less absorption of calcium, which is due to deficiency of vitamin D. Vitamin D is synthesized in our body when our body gets exposed to sunlight. So we need to take raw material, cholesterol type of raw material, and in presence of sunlight, it gets converted into vitamin D. And that is why vitamin D is also known as sunshine vitamin. It is called sunshine vitamin as it gets synthesized in presence of sunlight. The next fat soluble is vitamin E. Scientific or technical name is tocopherol. And vitamin E is known as, commonly known as beauty vitamin. It is called beauty vitamin and as we are talking of beauty vitamin uh, the function obviously is to maintain healthy epithelium or skin so it maintains healthy skin plus it also acts as antioxidant acts as anti Oxidant. And about antioxidant, we know that uh, it takes away all that nascent oxygen which is uh, produced in our body due to certain metabolic reactions. The nascent oxygen which is produced is highly reactive and it oxidizes various molecules. And this is one theory for aging. So if antioxidants are taken in sufficient quantity, all that free oxygen is taken by this antioxidant. So oxidation of our biomolecules is slowed down or in other words we can say the aging process is slowed down and that is why the person looks healthier, younger for a longer period of time and that is why we are calling it a beauty vitamin. Its deficiency, uh, there is no name given but it leads to RBC destruction. RBC destruction. The last of the fat soluble vitamins is vitamin K. Technical name is phyloquinone. And its main function is it helps in formation of prothrombin and is required for blood clotting. Formation of prothrombin and required for blood clotting. And as these functions are 
uh, taking place in presence of vitamin K, if K is deficient, blood clotting will be delayed. So, deficiency symptom would be blood clotting delayed. If this clotting protein is not synthesized in sufficient quantity. So, there are four main uh, fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. A, all of them they have their technical names A, D, E, K, these are the common names which we use retinol, calciferol, tocopherol, and phyloquinol. And the things which are common about them, they are fat soluble and they are stored in liver. Every vitamin is responsible for a specific function. And if we understand the function, it is easier to understand the deficiency symptoms also. So this is about fat soluble vitamins. Now next we will discuss water soluble.